Hello and welcome to another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes and this is the show where we talk with faculty, staff, students, alumni and guests about some of the things that are going on in the world or some of the great things that are going on here at Delaware State University. Today we are here to talk about a, or talk to a great product of Delaware State oh, University. Uh, Mr. Jermar Gardner, who is an actor on the a recurring role on the series Our Orange is the New Black. It's one of the hottest TV series that's out there today. And he plays the role of a correctional officer on the show. Yeah. He's also a member of the class of 2003 oh. here at Delaware State University. Got a degree in uh, mass communications and television production and uh, television production and radio. Right. Television production and print journalism. Print journalism, yeah. okay. So he's got quite a story to tell. This is the second part of a segment we've done with him. The first segment, we talked a lot about his role on the show as a correctional officer and how he got that role. Uh, let, tell me, you know, in, in, in this show here, you have been on a professional journey, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it would be helpful, to, especially to our students that are trying to get on the same journey once they get their degree. What are some of the lessons you have learned on your professional journey, beginning from when you graduated and began out in the work world to this achievement or this professional achievement of uh, this acting role on this television series? Mm -hmm. um, I would say the main thing that I have, because I've talked to a few students uh, you know, since I've been here, the main thing is to, against all odds, against, most importantly, what other people have to say about what you should be doing, how you should be going about it. What you said is the journey. It's yours. Mm -hmm. It's your journey. No one else's. So whatever it is that you see for yourself, mm -hmm. that's what you have to focus on. Like I said in the earlier segment, my father told me at a young age, I might not make it. I kept that mentality for many, many years, and sometimes it still comes back to grab me, but I know enough now, and I've, I've achieved some, you know, some, some success. You got a track record. Yeah, uh, you know, a little bit. You got a track record. Yeah, well, you do. Yeah, I like to think so. You know, I try. I mean, but that's what experience is. Exactly. Once you've been able to do something and accomplish something, you, you've convinced yourself right. that you can do it. That it can be done. And that exactly. you can build on that, right? Right, right. And that's, that's the main thing continue to build on you will always achieve something so it may seem small at first mm -hmm. and for me it started out very very small mm -hmm. and you oftentimes you would like i think as human beings we have the tendency in the world that we grow up in mm -hmm. it's like we want to control you know everything mm -hmm. there are certain things that you just can't control it's you like gotta a, roll with it you got to just roll with it and mm -hmm. there's been a lot of rolling with it mm -hmm. that has led me to here so it's be persistent, be fearless, and beyond any doubts that you might have or that anybody else might have for you, you see where you want to be, and that's all you really need. But doesn't the rolling with it build some character? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, there's a, I wish I could remember exactly how it goes, but you know, it, it speaks to the sense of uh, successful people have failed many times. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm paraphrasing, but you know, there are some other, things that, you know, writings that make it sound very eloquent, but it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how else will you know how to handle mm -hmm. defeat until you've experienced it? Mm -hmm. How else will you know how to handle being down until mm -hmm. you've been down? And then once you get there, you see that I picked myself back up. Mm -hmm. I'm, able, I'm still going. I'm still here, mm -hmm. you know? And that, that, that does, that will build that, oh man, I can't, I get so emotional not that i'm gonna cry but there's so many things that i would love to express mm -hmm. that it all just i can't get it all out in the words right. in this right. one small right. segment right. but right. just mainly just follow your heart mm -hmm. follow mm -hmm. your vision if you see it that's all that matters mm -hmm. because the world will open up to you and allow you mm -hmm. to get where you it wants you to get where you want to be mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so well <clears throat> You've been here now, I wish I could say that 
my man flew down here just to be on my show. <laughs> but we know that's not the case. The more important I would have. I, yeah, I, I know you would have. But the more important reason you came down here was to share with our students here at Delaware State University. Mm -hmm. And you got to meet a lot of our students. What, what was your impression of the students you met here? They're great. I, um, I just emailed my mother the other night and uh, told her, and sometimes I guess, you know, you feel like a little selfish because you talk to people and I feel fulfilled mm -hmm. knowing that, you know, because I can see in their eyes that it's already there. And I know that I had that same look. It's like, I know what I want, but there are other influences that are, you know, sometimes taking a hold. But you can see mm -hmm. that you're already on your journey. You're mm -hmm. already making the necessary steps. And I saw that in a lot of the students' eyes is that, uh, that drive mm -hmm. and that determination. Um, and I would, obviously, Dell State is doing a pretty good job, you know, at, at preparing their students. And the professors are doing a good job mm -hmm. at preparing them for what's going to come next because they, they, they have that, uh, like I said, they are, for lack of a better word, they have that drive, they have that determination, and it's just, you know, knowing that you stick with it. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. stick with it. You know, it may seem, it may sound like, oh, I got a internships. I never wanted to do an internship when I was here, you know, because it's, it's grunt work, mm -hmm. but that's what it takes to get to that, that station here, you know, and everybody that's here, they had to go up through that same rank too. So mm -hmm. I think them hearing that, um, knowing that other people are experiencing some of the same things, maybe even on uh, an even larger scale of disappointment at times, but they're still able to rise up. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, yeah, I, I was going through this. I had to deal with that too. But, you know, I see, I see it starting to happen. I mm -hmm. see it starting to manifest the things that I want. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot, of, a lot of bright lights in their eyes that I saw. Um, it, it was it was fulfilling for me. I'm inspired being here. It's it's been great. So we're gonna see you back here again. Oh sometime. yeah, I wouldn't. All right. Yeah, all right. Wouldn't, now tell me. You now you're a product of Delaware State University. Tell me about some of your most memorable experience here uh, in, Do in Dover at the Delaware State. I don't know if we want to talk about those. But the, ones no. that, the ones you can talk about. Yeah, no, here. they. Uh, um, I played football, mm -hmm. and <laughs> it. You played under Ben Blacknow. That's him. Yep. Yes, yep. You played yep. under, oh, yep. under Coach Ben Blacknow. Yep. And as I recall, there were a couple of those seasons were pretty good seasons for the football team. Yeah. Yeah. They were. Wait a minute. Was it Blacknow? Blacknow was here before I left. Mm -hmm. um, he. I can't. Ah, oh, man. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't want to mess up the segment. But I, I, I can't remember exactly what the coaches were. But mm -hmm. I think I had left at that time. Mm -hmm. um, after in his second season, okay. I left Black Noel's mm -hmm. second season. I left, so I did play under him. Mm -hmm. But my first year, I played under his name. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But um, we were playing football, and as far as my memorable, a memorable moment, it wasn't actually on campus. It was off campus, but it was still a Dell State experience because mm -hmm. we were the football team, mm -hmm. and we all piled into the elevator. I don't know why we did that, and we're sitting there saying, "I think we reached the weight limit. I think we reached the weight limit." And they were like, "Yeah, nah, nah, it doesn't matter." So it went up a few a few flights, and then it got stuck. Oh! <laughs> and we were, I mean, when I say packed, we were literally all like this. There were a lot of us on the elevator. <laughs> and so we probably stayed on the elevator for about a half hour. Oh, it got hot, didn't it? <sighs> you talking about a bunch of big linemen? Oh, and and uh, we, probably hadn't ta we probably hadn't taken a shower yet, because it was after <laughs> meeting. <laughs> so <laughs> we're on the elevator. And the way that they had to get us out was they had to send another another elevator up next to it, mm -hmm. and we had to open this little hatch. And I I want to say we were on we were high mm -hmm. we were probably on like the eleventh floor, and each one of us had to call mm -hmm. crawl through the hatch into the other mm -hmm. elevator, and uh, get down that way. That well, was funny. We we spent some time talking about your role on Orange is the New Black uh, during our last segment, but I think I want to wrap this up by asking you. What's going to come next for you? I mean, do you want to continue in acting, or there's some a other aspects of, of production you want to, you know, I don't know if it's directing or yeah. what, I don't know. What, what do you see for yourself? I definitely want to do some directing. Um, in a perfect world, I would love for acting to take off to the point where 
that will support all of my other ventures and I believe that it will eventually um, I try to tell people I don't like to plan I'm learning now that I don't like to plan too much because I'll get stuck in that plan yeah. well why isn't it happening at the time that I said it was gonna happen and it doesn't work like that all the time but yes um, I do wanna I definitely want to get into some producing yeah. um, the reason why my daughter one day and this even before that I had the idea but now that I have you know I have a child she's old enough to have her own experience and you know take certain things and decipher it in her mind so we're watching TV and she says daddy where are all the black people and I was like wow man you know there all of these kids movies there aren't many mm -hmm. of these movies that mm -hmm. where kids look like her you know so why do you think little black girls want their hair to be straight and long and mm -hmm. look a certain way is because that's what they see that and that must be what everybody loves so I would love to get in, into producing um, green, being able to green light some projects, and I'm sure that there are a lot of uh, very, I, well, I've met some of them. I'm sure there are more bright students coming out of here, and they're going to need somebody to, they may have, we may have the next, um, you know, Steven Spielberg mm -hmm. coming out of here. Mm -hmm. They're going to need somebody to green light that project. Mm -hmm. I would love to be able to, to make somebody else's dream come true like mine was. Well, I can tell you here at Delaware State University, we're going to be watching your career very closely. And Thank we're going you. to be rooting you on and having our, our I guess our computers turn to Netflix. Oh, That's yeah, the way yeah. you got to do things these days. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we wish you the best of luck and thank you for coming to share with us, not just on this show, but coming to Delaware State University to share with our students. Thank we you really me. appreciate it. And we want you to not take a long time in coming back either. I won't. And thank you for joining us for another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. Y'all watch Orange, and, uh, Orange is the New Black, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.